good morning again. For those of you that didn't see the first video on the ergonomics of the kitchen, my name's Tom Quantrill. I'm the director of the Physiotech Clinic at Cambridge University Sports Centre. So what we're just going to have a quick look at is with us all working from home, spending long periods of times in spaces that are perhaps not ideal. Some people we're seeing at the minute over the last few weeks of video appointments are getting stiff backs, stiff thoracic spines, stiff necks. So I thought we'd just go through some really quick, really basic exercises that can negate some of these issues that we get for sitting for long periods. So, first thing I want you to think about is thinking about this spine like a stack of Jenga blocks, okay? So if we were to take about this level here, as being halfway down the pile here, what I want us to do is we're gonna slide those blocks from side to side. So we don't want them to tip over. We're just gonna think about moving this half of the blocks on that half of the blocks. So we're gonna go at moving our top half sideways from side to side. So we're not tipping, all those blocks just fall off. We're just going from side to side. Now if we think about that, through that 45 degree diagonal. So you're going to take your blocks 45 degrees forward, 45 degrees back on the diagonal. So we're going to go through forward that way and back. Again, there's no tipping forward. Then we're going to go through this 45 degree di diagonal. Good, so we've got side to side right, we've got through 45 degrees right. What we're going to do is forward and back motion. So I want you to think about taking a single one of those Jenga blocks, pushing it out through the front. You're then going to take that Jenga block and push it back through your back. So it's going to come, be pushed from the back through the front and push from the front through the back. It's going to go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Now let's put them all together. We've got side to side, we've got diagonal, we've got the forward and back. Now if you imagine you have a hula hoop all the way around here, what you're going to do is you're going to go round and round through that hula hoop. We're allowing the weight to move around our hips, so the bottom of our back is getting a nice bit of movement. As we go around, we're also getting a nice stretch around the middle of our back. Now bring that hoop up a little bit. So the size of the circle will reduce. Go back the other way. But we're just trying to get this bit higher up to move. Let's move it up one bit higher. If you find areas where you're a little bit stiff in, well stay in that area, move around in that area. When it feels a bit less stiff, bring it back in. And you'll go in both directions. It's a nice quick way when sitting at your office desk or at the kitchen table of loosening up everything from this bottom bit, everything from this top bit. Really nice quick ways of loosening up around our neck. All we do, grab a hand, bring it over, pull it down, have a look forward. You'll feel something around here and this is where you've just got to listen to your neck. Does it want to take a bit further forward? Does it want you to take it back? Does it want you to look up a bit? Does it want you to look down a bit? Find the spot where you think that really needs a stretch. Just stay there. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just let everything go floppy and relaxed. And you should find it can just fall a couple of millimetres further. And again, as you breathe out, find it moves a couple of millimetres further. 
And then just change your angle up a little bit. Search around, find the bits that feel stiff. Nice breaths in. And as you breathe out, get some nice big stretch. So three, four, five breaths in a row. Pulling a smidge in further, allowing your head to fall further on the breath out. So really quick, easy ways of loosening everything up so you're getting a little bit stiff. Try them little and often throughout the day. Every time you reach for a cup of water or every time you go and turn the kettle on for a cup of tea, just have a little move around, keep things nice and loose, take regular breaks, get up, go in the garden, have a walk around. So we look forward to seeing you all at the support centre again soon. If you have any issues or questions, you can send us a message via our website, which is www.physiotech.co.uk, which is physio -E Everybody stay safe, be in contact if you need us.